Welcome to Mathematic. In this video, we'll focus on an exam type question for financial mathematics. And the focus of this question is on missed loan payments. So that is when you take out some sort of loan, you make payments for a while, then for a few months, you don't make any payments at all, and then you retake the payments. And this is a typical exam type question. The question reads as follows. Brenda takes out a 20-year loan of 400,000 Rand. She repays the loan by means of equal monthly payments, starting one month after the granting of the loan. The interest rate is 18% per annum compounded monthly. We know that we are working with a loan, and that points to the P formula on our formula sheet. The value of that loan is 400,000 Rand, we don't know the size of the monthly payments, so that represents X. The loan starts one month after the granting of the loan. So what happens on a timeline is if you take out a loan, the first before the first payment, we have something that's called a gap. We don't worry about interest in this gap. It's um, like a grace period. But it doesn't have any real impact on the solution. And then they give us the interest rate. The first question says, calculate the monthly payments. So that is X. And as I stated before, in order to find X, we use the present value annuity that we have on our formula sheet. The P value is 400,000 Rand. And the reason why we have 240 here is because we are making monthly payments over a period of 20 years. Now, a common mistake is that students forget to make it negative 240. And then I hope by now that you are comfortable manipulating the formula and you can use your calculator to do this and then solve for x. So please use your calculator now and check whether or not you can get to 6,173 Rand and 25 cents. The next question says, Calculate the amount due after the third payment was made. So this is asking for the balance outstanding. And we have discussed the balance outstanding in a previous video. Now just to save a little bit of time, in my previous video on the outstanding balance, I said we always take money forward to a certain point in time. And that sometimes teachers prefer to move backwards as well. So my preferred method is to take the money forward to a certain point in time. But for this video, I thought it wise to also show you how it works when we move money backwards. So when we move money backwards to find the outstanding balance, then we use the P formula instead of the F formula. That's when we move money forward. If you don't know what I am referring to with forwards and backwards, please go watch our video on the balance outstanding. So when we move money backwards, we are missing three payments. And in the previous question, we had 240 payments. But after three payments, we have 237 payments left. And we use the X value that we have found in our previous question. So I simply plug it into this present value annuity and I have the balance outstanding as 399,472 Rand and 68 cents. And this answer leads into the next question. And this is the focus of this video. It says, Brenda misses the fourth, the fifth and the sixth payments. Calculate her increased monthly payment that comes into effect from the seventh payment onwards. Okay, for this solution, we have a few steps that we are going to talk about. In the first step, we want to grow the balance outstanding that we found in the previous question by three months. So, if I draw a little timeline... We worked out this outstanding balance at three months. Then we missed payment four, 
5, and 6. And on the seventh month, we will retake payments. So if we have this balance outstanding here, we will be charged interest for those three months that we have missed. So I take the balance outstanding from the previous question and I charge myself with three months of interest because that represents the three months or three payments that we have missed. The second step is we need to work out a new N. So after I've missed these three payments, how many payments do I still need to make? So we had a loan of 20 years and that was 12 times 20. Then we have made three payments. So that's the first three payments that we have made. And then we are missing three payments. So in total, when we retake the loan or start repaying in month seven, we still need to make 234 repayments or payments. And then our third step is we want to work out a new X using the loan formula. So remember, we have a new loan value now. That's the balance outstanding. And we charged ourselves with three months of interest. So that's P new. We want to find X and we know that N is 234. The I has stayed the same and it did not change over this period. So when I plug in all of that information, it does look a little bit overwhelming, but let's move through it step by step. The new loan formula is the balance outstanding with the three months that we are charging ourselves. And we have N as minus 234. The I has not changed. Now in order to solve for X, I take this value on the left hand side and I multiply it with the denominator of 0 0.18 divided by 12. And to find x alone, I will divide this new equation or expression on the left with the brackets here on the right. And what you want to do is enter these values carefully on your calculator to find that x is 6,464 rand and 16 cents. I do know that some students do not like these complicated expressions. So what you can do is you work out this part first on your calculator, then multiply that answer with 0 0.18 divided by 2, and then you have one value on your calculator. And you can do this separately as well, and then divide that result by the answer that you have found here. So use the method that is most convenient to you. I am confident and comfortable to put in all of this information all at once to find my final answer. Thank you for watching. Support us by liking and subscribing to Mathematic. Check out our Digistore for math study notes with free downloads for statistics and financial math. Follow the link in the video description.